yet. Don't be such a baby. It's just a prank. Let's just take it for a joyride. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, come on, Rach. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, stop worrying. Let's just go do this. It's Jake's fault anyways for giving you the spare key. Yeah, but he didn't mean for me to take his car. We're going to get in trouble. Leah, we're doing this. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do it. Woo, let's go. So are you ready for the big game? I know I'm so proud of you and the boys too. Yeah, I mean the game's a couple days away. I think the team looks great. I think the squad looks really good. I just gotta get Jackie to make sure she passes those girls so that they can compete. She is so pathetic and so easily swayed. Like she's just a means to an end. Oh, you know, I meant to ask you, mom's stopping by the house later to watch the boys and she mentioned something about a meeting. Do you know anything about that? What's right. it about? Don't. I haven't heard anything, but you know how secretive she can be. Yeah. Well, you want to go take a walk sure. on the lake? Yeah, let's do it. So, how about those bills? How about them? I cannot believe it's been 20 years since that trial. I was so stupid to get in that car. You know, I could have had my degree. I was getting ready to go to college, Chelsea. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. But then, you know, then your dad left me when I finally got my degree. Wait, so dad left because of what you and Rachel did? <sighs> you know, well, no. But after he found out I had a record, nothing I did, nothing was right. Huh. <laughs> Trust me, I remember. I will never forget the way he was treating you. <sighs> but you know, Rachel, she got off scot-free. Everything's perfect in her life. You know, she's got money, she's got family, she's got a great job, everyone adores her. Mom, are you okay? I just wish she paid a little for what happened that night, you know? That was really tough on me. I was young, I was your age. How do you not hate her? I hate her. No, but is it like, it's the anniversary or something? Like, can't you just let it go? You know, Chelsea, your father wouldn't have left me if I had not gotten in that car, if she had not involved me. I would have gone to college. I would have had a great job. We'd be having pedicures right now. Life would be awesome. And now you cheer for her. Do you know what she could do to you, to your future? Mom, don't be so dramatic. I'm a cheerleader, so what? What's the worst that could happen? And I love science, but those great boosts, they definitely help. Um, hello, Earth to Chelsea. It's a crime. What's happening is a crime. And she's associated you with this. Look where Rachel led me. And now I'm supposed to trust her with my daughter? I will make darn sure that she never gets a chance to sink you like she sunk me. Yeah. Okay. Madison, thank you so much for coming in today. Sure. Uh, I understand you um, heard or maybe saw something over at the library on Tuesday. Could you tell me a little bit about what you saw and what you heard? Yes, I was working the circulation desk. Um, we were pretty busy and I saw a mother and a daughter that come into the library frequently. Um, they were talking quite loud in the, in the lobby and they were just having a very heated conversation. Could you tell me a little bit about what they were saying? Like, you know, what, what was it about the conversation that? The mom was very animated and she, was, she seemed very um, upset. And she said something along the line to her daughter, like, I want to make sure you don't suffer because of her. And I didn't think anything of it at the time, but then after hearing what's happened, it kind of just stopped. 
stuck in my mind. Mm -hmm. I thought it was important for you to know. No, I'm really glad that you came in. Now, can you can you describe this this mother and daughter a little bit for me? Um, yes, the the mom the mom has short hair, and I um, I think her daughter is a cheerleader at high school. Okay. I'm wondering if I were to show you a picture, of, you know, some people. Do you think you might be able to pick her out? Yes, absolutely. All right. Okay, take a close look. Take your time. Is there is there anyone there on that sheet that looks like the woman that you're talking about? That was the one in the middle. The one in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's thank you. You're welcome. You're certain of that? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. You know what's sad, Rachel? I actually liked you. I thought you were a good person. I didn't realize how wrong I was about you. I wanted to be one of you, liked by you. I wanted to be your friend, to feel included, but you used me. I wish I knew that at the time. I wish I realized what type of person you really were before I let you talk me into ruining my career. Now you want to hold it against me. You want me to keep doing bad things just to make your cheerleaders and the boys on the team win so it benefits you. How did I not realize how everything is all about you? Do you ever grow up? Maybe I should turn myself in. God, it's better than living with you torturing me all the time. Stop being so melodramatic. You are not the victim. No one made you do anything. You wanted to be my friend and you were. Maybe if only for a day. So you're welcome. You wanted to be part of the in crowd and I made that happen. Look, just because we don't hang out now doesn't mean we aren't friends. I need you to do me this one favor and pass my girl so that they can be in the game on Friday. That's it. No big deal. You've done it before. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to lie for you. Those girls don't know anything, and they barely do their work in class now. I don't feel comfortable passing them anymore. Okay. I tried to ask you nicely. You are going to do this. You pretend like you're going to go turn yourself in? If you really were, you would have done it already. So don't threaten me with your theatrics. Change the grades now. I'm not asking you again, or I will take you down. And we all know that no one will believe you over me. So, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Uh, can you tell me what brings you here today? Well, well, I, I heard a conversation that I thought might be important. Okay, tell me about it. Well, I was in the library last week um, Do you know what game? Um, Wednesday, it was, it was Wednesday. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I heard a, a teacher talking, like, from far away, but it was, she was loud, I could hear her talking. Did you know who it was? Um, it was Miss Rachel. Okay. Um, I, I couldn't see another person she was talking to. Um, but so she was, was talking the, to some person right. there? Or? I, I think she was on the phone. I, I couldn't tell. I didn't see another person, but I, she, not much, she might have been there, but I think it was like in the speaker because oh, I could okay. hear her voice. Okay. Tell me more. Um, I don't know. It, it, it sounded it, well, it sounded like Miss Jackie to me. And she's another teacher. teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think um, there were threats being made about changing grades for the cheerleaders, and I, I, just, I just thought that it was, it sounded, uh, it sounded like they'd done it before. It, like they, it's been blackmailing has been going on for a while, and now that Miss Rachel's dead, I just I, I thought it was important that, that that kind of conversation to bring to your attention. Who was threatening who? Um, Miss Miss Rachel was was threatening Miss Jackie. 